All right, welcome back to the workshop here. So if you saw my last video, this is my Power Queen battery that I'm going to use for my fridge in my truck. And did a review on, or a, kind of like a, a setup of the Bluetooth on the channel before. So what we're gonna do is I need to put power poles on this. You can see that I put it in its battery box. And uh, this is a NOCO BG24, it's a group 24 battery box. And what we're gonna do in this video is put some power poles on this thing. So if you don't know anything about power poles, they are this very cool connector, 12 volts, uh, actually DC connector that uh, I use on all of my stuff. If you don't have your power poles or you don't have anything that is power poled, you can buy a kit off Amazon. Usually comes with this uh, crimper and also some power poles. I would caution you on power poles. Not all power poles are the same. Some of them are counterfeit and they don't fit together with the real ones. So always buy authentic Anderson power pole connectors. And I probably should get my power pole connectors out here. I put them in one of these things and they have a positive and a negative and then they also have, um, I'm using 10 gauge wire here so I need the bigger power poles. So let me grab some of those. Ooh, I don't think I have, I only have two left. Well, that's good because hopefully I don't screw anything up. As you can see, I'm doing this unedited. And then also I've got some ring terminals here for 10 gauge. And I don't know what the millimeter size is, but they will fit over these lugs. So that's what I'm going to use to connect the, the DC wire or the automotive wire. So here is my 10 gauge wire. And I'm just gonna just pull this apart, gonna kind of size it here, and then it's gonna come out the end, and I'll have like you know six or eight inches. That uh, I will use to for leads coming out. So let's go ahead and cut this, and now put that away for later. So now what I want to do is. I'm going to do the leads first. I'm sorry, I'm going to do the the ring terminals first. So I'm just crimping, I'm sorry, just cutting back the the insulation here. 10 gauge wire is not the most easiest thing to work with. So I just brought that back and then the hard part here is I got to look at this through the magnifying glass because getting all the strands through this is sometimes tough. Come on. All right, got it, first try, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna crimp this in my vise Crimp, crimp, crimper. First, I'm going to, ooh, this one was on incorrect because it's going to set like this. So, I'm going to crimp this. And I usually just crimp all of my connections. Okay, that's on there good. You can see that. And now let's do the negative side just go around pull off that sheathing 
give it a good twist and then thread that onto again I need to take a look under the magnifying glass because my eyesight is not the best here come on good to go I think we're good to go all right so if this goes like this then this needs to be turned 180 degrees so it sets flat all right so let me crimp this all right Ugh. all right so what that looks like good crimp all right so now we do the power pull in so usually what I do is pull these ends apart a little bit and then here is the pin connector you can see that it's got a space in there for the wire and then whenever you lay the wire in there and you crimp it with the crimpers it uh, will make a good mechanical connection and then after you insert the pin into the Anderson power pole so now I always remember these have an A on them I don't know if you can see that and this one's got an A so you can read the A in the right orientation and A right is on the red so that is the correct orientation. You can see that there's a pin in there. And the this pin goes up. Actually, this is kind of a spring. So this gets pushed into the connector, and that spring pushes up on it and uh, pushes this uh, the connector up. So therefore, if, whenever the mating side of it, it uh, snaps over this guy and makes that electrical connection with this part right here. So... Next thing we need to do is, um, and the orientation kind of matters whenever you're stripping this cable. So I usually strip out about, let's see, I don't know, maybe three millimeters, four millimeters, probably three eighths of a of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Now that looks good. So then what I need to do is I need to line this up. So this, if you can see that, that is the orientation that I need. So black is over here, red is over there. So let's get the crimpers out. And there is a 45, there's a 15, a 30, and a 45. The 45 is over here. I don't even know if any of this is in frame. So we're going to place this into the crimper, and hopefully this will crimp. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't want to crimp correctly, and it crimped correctly. Look at that. So you can... Go through this again and crimp this bottom side. Yep, it looks good. All right, now on to the negative side. So let's crimp or let's uh, strip this brack. Go right about there. Okay. Lines up, yep, yeah, looks good. Where did my other power pull go? This is where it's at. That looks good, looks good to me. So we will put this in the crimper. So let me see if I can do this while it's tough. There we go. Gotta make sure that that crimp, oh. So if you, ah. Uh, See, I messed it up. 
need to pull. So you can see that got turned. So I need to pull it out. Because if you turn it, then what happens, ah, so that's the right orientation. So whenever that crimp comes, so let's, uh, let's redo this. So let me place this in here. I need to make sure that it's the right orientation. Actually, what I need to do is put it like that. Hopefully I can get all of this out. Sorry, I can't no. make sure all these strands. See, this is the trials and tribulations of. Oh, sorry, guys. Perfect. Yeah, they're a little, little off, but it's good enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. So this is how, uh, should I do heat shrink? Should I do some heat shrink? Yeah, let me put some heat shrink on here. Hang on. gun out let's put this heat shrink over it all right so let's get these inserted so they go with the springy part see the part that kind of comes up that goes towards the bottom and whenever you get these connected you'll hear a click I think I clicked all of them in yep so now they, I don't know if you can see that, but they both clicked in. They're good. Let me just test it real quick. I think that I had another power pole around here. I usually have one that's hanging out. Okay, here's one. So this is, yep, goes and connects in. Okay, let's see. I don't know if the red one did not click in there, it clicked in. Okay, so now we're good. Yeah, it didn't give a good positive. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, so that is connected. Um, see, this thing wants to come out. So what I can do is, see this hole in there? You can put a connector in there or I'm, I'm sorry, a, uh, a pole that uh, keep those together. Well, and I'm not really too concerned about it. So let's... Just to put some strain relief on this. done so now to connect this up to the battery so what we'll do is ah crap that's what happens whenever you want to screw this 
Never mind my dog. So, screw terminal, and then another washer. Connect the negative up here. This will probably reside like this because of just the orientation. So let me get a screwdriver. Right down. Is the screwdriver going to be big enough? Okay, very good. So now let's just make sure that the it's got 12 volts going to it and. look good so negative to negative positive to positive yep 12.9 volts all right very good that is done and then all I need to do is um, put the battery strap on it I think that is there a slot underneath there? I don't know. We'll have to see. I know that there is a uh, there's a spacer. Uh, let's see. I'm not really sure how that goes together. But anyway, let's uh, let's put this together like it's gonna go out the door. Nope, no, nope, wrong. One. And here's my lead. So that is almost complete. So that is how you put Anderson power poles on a battery. It's just that easy. So hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.